The UMass Lowell Innovation Hub is a business incubator and co-working space here at Harbor Place in Haverhill. It's part of UMass Lowell Satellite Campus. We support early stage startup companies and entrepreneurs and small businesses with programming, space, events, access to our prototyping lab, and everything they need to really run and grow their business right here in Haverhill. So the university over the last six years has invested in these spaces and they are targeted at not only supporting companies coming off campus, but also companies in the broader region. So the value for entrepreneurs here is to get them access to many things that they don't have at home, whether it be 3D printing, CNC milling equipment, instrumentation to prototype and test their products. We have that here. As opposed to spending tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars, they get it at pennies on the dollar. I decided to come to the iHub because I had been working from home for about a year and a half before the pandemic hit and kind of reached my limit of uh, being able to work in that space and um, I'm the only staff, mem staff member for Creative Haverhill so just feeling that need for community and connection and also having a workspace outside of my home. To be able to have an office space and access to community and events and programs virtually or in person and printers and <laughs> meeting spaces, it's been really great. We moved our business here in 2018, um, primarily because I got tired of working in my basement. And we need to hire people. And um, unfortunately, when you have an interview in a basement, it's a, it sets a weird vibe. Um, so we needed, we needed to have some professional looking space. We're a professional organization. I've been in business now since uh, 2009. It's been incredibly beneficial to us in that we have the space that we need. We can visit with our clients and prior to COVID, obviously. They can come to us. It looks professional. But the biggest thing for us and what's kept us here is the internet. Um, we can get gigabit speed internet for about half of our rent, basically. It would be the equivalent. Right before the pandemic hit, we were at our having our best quarter ever. We had the most number of members here. We had events constantly. We had meetings and corporate events and trainings and workshops. And then all of a sudden we had to stop just like everybody else. And we had to sort of figure out how we could continue to move forward in a space that was designed for people to come together when we couldn't be together. The thing that was most important to us was we were able to stay open. We've continued with a lot of virtual programming and that's been great because we can combine it with our resources in Lowell so members from both sites can participate and then we've been able to attract speakers from all over. We just did a workshop this week on sensor technology and we had a speaker from Arizona on, uh, somebody else from California and some of our Lowell, UMass Lowell colleagues. In terms of our space we did make all the adjustments that you've seen in other businesses, mask wearing, one-way aisles, we spaced out people's desks and workspaces. We've taken pride in, in making sure that everybody feels safe to be here in this workspace. We figured out uh, you know, how to meander around the office to minimize the number of contacts, minimize the number of touch points, and it's been extremely safe since then. It's very quiet here. Having my own space with a closed door has been phenomenal. And then the other big thing is just the internet connection here screams. It's so fast. So every meeting, Usually the comment is, how come your video is so clean? How come it's so clear? And that has turned out to be a really big deal. The pandemic has changed how people work and how people think about where, what their work life looks like. But what we've seen and from talking to people is there is still that need to have a place to go, have an office. There's a huge opportunity, I think, for us at the iHub where a lot of companies that had huge office spaces in Boston have maybe decided to scale back how they use that space the iHub could help fill that gap because we could provide space for a small team that maybe is based in the Merrimack Valley. The one thing that this pandemic has convinced people is that there are many other ways for them to work other than tethered to their office. What we provide here is another option. That other space, which is a space beyond their traditional office where they're not at home. And for the ones who want that all office space, we can do that as well. Right now, we're gonna continue with our virtual programming. We are doing community co-working days again, which is when we open the iHub up for anybody to, to sort of try us out for the day. We are gonna allow some in-person um, activities during that, um, obviously very limited and, and following all of our COVID guidelines as well. We're gonna have a virtual networking lunch each month, starting uh, this month in March. 
people have sort of missed that. You know, they miss going to events and meeting people and interacting in person. So I do think that there'll be some kind of pent up demand for coming back to a safe office space and, and collaborating with people in person again. And that's something that we think that we can help provide. So when we talk about innovation, entrepreneurship, creating new ventures, in many cases, you don't know where that next idea, that next opportunity, that next customer is gonna come from. So one of our jobs here is to create that orchestrated serendipity, bringing people together, connecting them. So they see that new idea, they see that new opportunity, they see that new customer, that new partner, that new investor. We've seen that happen time and time again in the three years we've been here, and we continue to see that as a key value of what we do here at the Innovation Hub.